Hi, so in a project studying the movements and historical and cultural movements, uh, especially created throughout the different villages that together make the City of London, I was particularly uh, focused on the village of Shoreditch. Um, I researched into the rag trade, prostitution, Jack the Ripper, um, the architectural changes uh, from the 1900s until today. Um, and one of the things I found particularly fascinating was the use of the Cockney English, which is more recently used to refer to the, to the English spoken in the East End of London uh, and also working class Londoners. Um, and I really related to uh, this having read Orwell's 1933 Dan and I in Paris and London. Um, first of all, because my grandfather used to speak to me, uh, you know, referring to the the, the bill as the Jack and Jill or ordering bicycle clips, meaning he wanted some chips. Um, and he was Irish and he used to, you know, refer to this Cockney in a humorous way. And it was the first time as a sort of eight-year-old that I'd ever heard of such a thing. And I sort of understood, why do you speak? I used to say, like, why do you speak this way? I don't, I don't really understand. And he would say, um, it's Cockney love. And I never would understand an Irish man... Um, saying that kind of thing. I didn't really know what it meant, but it was only having read George Orwell's book um, that I started to understand uh, because I grew up in, in France and in the part in the book where he is living in Paris as a homeless person uh, and working, he uh, the language he uses um, to describe like daily things, uh, things he encounters on a daily basis, were very much words and things that I had grown up with, uh, which I could really easily relate to, and I found very humorous having read the book, and I recommend it to all of my friends who spoke English and French um, and who could relate to these things. Um, and another thing that was really interesting was when he moved over to, the, to London, where he was living for a big part of uh, his life in London as a homeless person. In Paris, he managed, the rent was cheaper, he managed to you know, have an apartment, have a quite a good job as well, um, as a plongeur, you know, someone washing the dishes in a, in a big hotel. Um, but yeah, when he got to uh, his life in London, he managed to pick up so quickly on this Cockney accent that for me is almost mysterious. Uh, and as Georgia Brown, um, the Jewish and English actress and singer, was stating in uh, a video made by the BBC, she was saying that People living in the East End, in Shoreditch, who are working in, in the markets, uh, immigrants from all over the world, they picked up on the Cockney accent within two weeks of being there. Within weeks of being there, they were all speaking with a Cockney accent, accent, almost replacing the actual people that the English people that have been there since the 1900s. Um, and that's why it's really interesting. There's a sense of community. There's a sense of, you know ownership of the place. They come, they learn the language, they learn to, to trade um, and and trade like no nowhere else. Never before have, have people come into these markets in London, for example, and seen these, you know, workmen, these showmen f flying rags into the air, flying pieces of cutlery into the air. That was never seen before. They were really humorous and, and and really had a sense of uh, like a relationship with the people that were coming every day to get their food, to get their clothes. And that was what I found really, really interesting.